Packers linebacker Clay Matthews was flagged for a controversial roughing the passer call against Kirk Cousins on Sunday that extended the game and cost the Packers a win. Matthews also had one in week one against the Bears. The prop, will or won't Clay Matthews get called for roughing the passer this Sunday against the Redskins? Of course he will. <laughs> of course he will. This is his thing. They try to make it out like he's not a dirty player. The guy has always been a dirty player. He has. He has. They try to make it out like he's hard-nosed football. He's one of these tough guys. Not only do I hate the Packers, so I've you know got something against this cat. Um, I don't trust a man who has uh, who has that much hair anyway. Cut it. What would your grandfather think? Um, but I think he will get a roughing the passer because who doesn't want to hit Alex Smith? Come on. I want to hit that guy. He's perfect. He's a sweetheart. He's got so many positive things in his life. I want to see Clay take him down. I don't even like Clay Matthews that much, but I got to tell you, I can't wait to see him pop that guy. The guy married a Raiders cheerleader. You know, he was a sweetheart in San Francisco. Everybody loved him. He's got charities left and right. Uh, yeah, he's got a perfect clean record, this guy. I'd, I'd want to murder him as well. He, he revitalized Kansas City and left a great little track for Patrick Mahone to jump into. So I got to tell you, he's Mr. Perfect. Break him. I hope Clay breaks him. I hope he gets a rough in the passer and shows the NFL that you're supposed to be tough. That's part of the game. Sometimes you got a late hit coming at you. That's how it goes. Welcome to football. Clay is not a dirty player. Yes, he is. In fact, he hasn't had a roughing. He had a roughing the passer call last week, and that's the first time that he got that call since 2013. You know how long that is? So honestly, obviously, he's adjusting to the new rule of using your body weight on the quarterback, mm -hmm. uh, and he is a perfectionist. He's not a highly penalized guy in any season uh, across the board, even false starts, anything like that. Uh, unnecessary roughness, he's only been called for that three times, I think, in his career. That's more so than enough. I think he adjusts, and this week definitely does not get called for it, especially since he nearly cost them the game. Um, also, he is playing Alex Smith, and the league does not give a about Alex Smith. If he was playing Tom Brady, Different he would have been called for that before the game starts. Alex Smith is a sweetheart. Yes. They're going to protect him just as much as they do anybody else. No. The NFL has gone baby on us. They've gone <laughs> soft, okay? I think Clay is going to take out all this aggression and anger about the NFL going after him two weeks in a row and say, you know what? I'm going to shove it in your face. Yeah. I'm going to dislocate Alex Smith's neck. No, he's a he clean does. player. The only thing dirty about him is his drain. Only okay. thing, Yeah, the only thing dirty is his drain? Yeah. That's it? From his hair. From his hair? Yeah. It's pretty good. Thank you. Cothard? <laughs> All right, that's a touchdown for Santino. Speaking the truth about the NFL, thank you, man. Yeah. What? That thank makes no much. sense. Yes, the scoring it does. system that he. All right. Son, you're doing a great job. I knew <laughs> nepotism. <laughs>